Thousands gathered at Avenida Paulista in Sao Paulo to celebrate former President Luis Inácio Lula da Silva of the left-wing Workers' Party obtaining the highest number of votes in the first round of Brazilian elections held on October 2nd. Brazil's presidential race will now head to a second round as none of the candidates secured more than 50% of the votes needed to win the country's presidency in the first round itself. Trailing Lula in the results was incumbent President Jair Bolsonaro of the far-right Liberal Party. With 99.99% of the votes counted, Lula obtained 48.43% of the votes and Bolsonaro got 43.2% of the votes. They will now face off in the second round on October 30th. Eu nunca ganhei uma eleição no primeiro turno. Parece que o destino gosta de me fazer trabalhar um pouco mais. É apenas uma questão de tempo. É apenas uma questão de esperar um pouco mais de dias para que a gente converse mais, para que a gente aprimore o nosso programa, para que a gente convença outras pessoas a mais. E eu não poderia deixar de vir aqui na Paulista dizer para vocês. É graças a pessoas como vocês. É graças às mulheres, homens e jovens que estão aqui que o Partido dos Trabalhadores vai ganhar as eleições no dia do segundo turno. E vamos ganhar porque o Brasil precisa de nós. After the top two candidates were Simone Tibet of the Brazilian Democratic Movement with 4.16% of the votes, and Ciro Gomes of the Democratic Labour Party with 3.04% of the votes. The remaining seven contestants secured less than 1% of the votes. Apart from the president, Brazil also voted to elect state and federal governors, senators, and federal, state, and district deputies, while the party of Bolsonaro, the Liberal Party, won the biggest number of seats in the Chamber of Deputies with 99, the legislative elections gave other reasons to celebrate. A number of candidates from the country's historically marginalized communities won their races and achieved major milestones. Erica Hilton will be the first transvestite parliamentarian in Brazil, elected as federal deputy for Sao Paulo with the PSOL party. Indigenous leader Sonia Guajajara is the first indigenous deputy of Sao Paulo. The landless rural workers' movement succeeded in electing six members to state and federal offices who have vowed to promote people's agrarian reform and a popular project for Brazil.